Hi everyone, this is your girl Charlotte and welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? Me, I am good. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, if you're not new here, thanks for watching. Um, but we're going to do a little chit chat today. Call this my little chit chat video today. Um, I got a couple of stories to tell. Um, but before we get into that, please like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell where you get notified when I upload a video. Okay? So while we're doing this little chit chat, y'all, um, I'm going to do my makeup while we're into this little chit chat. Just give me something to do. Um, as you can see, I already done did my brows and stuff like that. Yeah. And cleaned up, blah, 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 blah. um, and prime my face and stuff, but um, yeah, um, so let's get into this little chit chat. Um, I had this little dating website on my phone, messing around with it, you know, you know, I met a couple of guys that was all right and stuff like that, and um. And, you know, that was okay. You know, I talked to him, you know, just texting and stuff like that. But I never gave nobody my number. So, um, y'all, I'm going to use the Milani Rosewater Primer to prime my face. Can y'all see this? See, I got two, both of these cameras going. My two cameras going. Ha, ha, ha. Wow. Anyway, but, um... <clears throat> I was on this little uh, dating website, you know, but, you know, just wanted to see how it was meeting people. And I met a couple of guys, you know, stuff like that. That was okay and stuff, you know, weren't really trying to get up with them, you know, just, you know, just being friends, stuff like that. Because I would tell every one of them, I wasn't looking really, looking for a relationship, just looking for somebody to hang out with, you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So it was one particular guy that, um, was inboxing me on the website and stuff like that. So we really, really didn't get to know each other, but you know, it was enough that, you know, he was inboxing me every day, tell me good morning, stuff like that. You know, I was like, okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> The main bio I got on my website is no married men. No married men. Okay. Um, so, this guy in particular, me and him just, you know, so he was like, oh, are you married? And then I said, if I was married, um, I wouldn't be on this website. He was like, okay, you know, that, that's true. That's true. I'm like, okay. So, um, he come texting me, um, telling me he was going to come down this way. That, uh, it was his uh, son's birthday, and they were going to come down to celebrate. So, I'm like, you know, I really don't know you. I'm not going to meet up with you or nothing like that. So, everything, you know, I was telling him, it was like kind of short, short and simple. And it was like, well, okay, you know. That's, uh, he was like, well, Ken we meet and my thing is I don't know you like that I really don't know you like that you know so um, y'all I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 368 Deep Golden so, um, 
it was like, okay, you know, um, I'm not, just let me know when you come down here because I wasn't planning on meeting this guy, you know. So, um, he was like, I'll let you know when I get there and stuff like that. And I was like, well, leave it one word again. Okay. So when that weekend came up, I was working anyway. That's why I knew I was not going to meet this guy. I have no intentions of meeting this guy. And this is, was not my plan. You know, we were just talking to uh, friends on this website. You know, I was not trying to meet up with you. Then, then your profile picture, I no. So anyway, um, I think that Friday, he texted me. He inboxed me and said that he was just now leaving the house. So I just, again, the little word, okay. And then I put, have a safe trip because, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So, which I'm hoping nothing happens. So I'm like, well, okay, have a safe trip. So, I guess to where he got here, he just started inboxing me, inboxing me, inboxing me. Um, I made it. Um, do you want to meet up? Uh, can we meet here? Stuff like that. And I would never respond. I wouldn't say a word. Not one word. So, um, on the website is where when you talk to them, you can like a video call and stuff like that. So he called himself going to try to video call me. He did it three times. I didn't pick up not one time. So, uh, he and box me again and said, um, I really want to meet up with you. Um, I'm going to get a different room. I'm like, why you going to do that? Why are you spending money? Because I'm not coming. I'm not the one. You know, <laughs> I don't do this. It's not like, you, I mean, you know, I'm not going to, I don't know you. I don't know your attentions. I don't know if you got the COVID. I don't know you. You're not trying to kill me and nothing like that. No, I'm not. Uh-uh. So, um, I, I didn't really say nothing. And he was like, if I got it, will you come? No, no, I won't. So I didn't, I didn't say nothing. Still didn't say nothing to him. Okay. The next day, he inboxed me. Good morning. I said, good morning. He said, how was your night? I said, my night was great. Just like that. He said, can we meet up today? I said, no, because I'm working. Left it like that. He said, uh, what time are you getting off? And I told him, I said, I don't know. It depends. So he was like, um, when you get off, uh, inbox me. And we can meet up somewhere. I didn't respond back to that question. I just left it alone. Okay. Later on, I had been got off. I was home. I went to a birthday party. And 
I happened to look down. I seen that he had text. I was like, oh my God, this, you know. So, um, I read the text and it was like, you still at work. And I did not say nothing. And he said, um, It was two texts. One was like, you still at work. And then the other one was, meet me at this such and such bar on this such and such street. So this food crazy. This man crazy. I mean, God, dog. I said, that's, oh, whoo. You know, I don't know you. You don't know me. You is not really my cup of tea anyway. I'm just being friends. Conversation. That's all I wanted you for anyway was conversation. You know. And. He. um, What did he do after that? I think he called. Video. Try to video call again. Yeah, he did. Because I sat right there and I looked at it. And I didn't pick it up. Sure didn't. So, he can okay. That Sunday. Sunday morning. Good morning. I said, good morning. Are you working today? I didn't say nothing. Then he, later on that day, he was like, he sent another uh, message. You never answered my question. If I got another room, would you come and see me? What? You go again about another room and we don't even know each other. Okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't respond to that one. So that right there should have told you I'm not interested in you trying to be with you like that. Why keep continuing, continuing and pressuring me to come and see you? If I didn't see you, jump up and go see you the first day you got your ass down here. What make you think I'm gonna and I've been avoiding it the whole damn weekend. What make you think, you know, I'm going to come to a damn room to see you. you. No, this is not me. I'm not I'm not that type of person. So, he said I'm leaving Monday. That was the late that was a Sunday night. He sent me and bought me. I'm um we're leaving out tomorrow morning. Me and my boys. Okay? So, when Monday got here, he inboxed me that morning. Good morning. I said, good morning. He said, um, we're packing. We're ready to leave. He said, uh, I'm sorry that we couldn't meet up. And I was like, We'll have a safe trip. That's how I left. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a bad person. It's just like, it, 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 you got to be careful, you know. So. I think I'm going to do my eyes last. So, when he got home, <laughs> he inboxed me again. 
and said, I made it home. He said, let me ask you a question. He said, can you come this way? And I said, I'm glad you made it home safe. That's how I left it and left it alone. After that, it took you all this time. Y'all, I'm all over the place. And that goes here. This goes here. And this is this. Um, it took you all this time to realize that this was not going to happen between you and I. Okay? Okay. So, I haven't heard from him or nothing on the website and everything after he got home and he asked me that last question. And after I had told, after I said, um, I'm glad you had a safe trip home. Um, two weeks after that, I was at work sitting at the table with my client. My phone rings. And I looked down at it and I was like, why does number look familiar? So, y'all, I picked up the phone. I was like, hello. It was a woman on the other end. She was like, uh, is this Charlotte? I said, uh, yes, it is. Y'all, I'm using the to um conceal under my eyes. The LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And um, she was like, Do you know this guy by the name of such and such and such? So I'm like, Because see, on that website, if he's not the only one. That I was con I conversate with. I conversate with a lot of them, you know. I'm like, uh, who you say again? And then when she got to explain and she's he came down that way and I'm like, oh him. Yeah, he came down here on his his birthday, him and his son's birthday. She's like, no, that's my husband. I was like, oh. She said, no, he did not come down here, down there on their birthdays. We went down there on our, it was our anniversary. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Boom. That's why you tried to get that extra room. Okay. <laughs> okay. She said, you you met him on uh, this such and such a site. I said, uh, yeah, but he was just conversation. You know, I won't try to. She said, yeah, I know that because I, I see all the little messages y'all were sending each other. And I kind of had a feeling you wasn't really. I said, right. <laughs> you were just, you know. She said, well, it wasn't just you. It was you and three other women. And one actually met up with him. I was like, oh, for real? I said, he told me. That it was his birthday and his son's birthday and he was coming down here to celebrate it. Stuff like that. Uh, I said, he has even video call and stuff. She said, yeah, I saw that. And I told her, I said, I refused to calls and everything. I did not pick up. I said, I figured he was kind of iffy, you know. She was like, uh, yeah. She said, but you know what? You the only one that I had talked to so far that I could really sit and talk to and have a conversation about this because the other women just... Oh, they just downgraded me, especially the one that met up with him, telling me, well, you should have a hold on your husband and, and stuff like that. I was like, uh-uh, honey, for real? Y'all, that's why I'm not married. The reason why I'm not married because of this. Because of this. So, Actually, me and her had a, a nice little conversation. We had a, a nice little conversation about him and stuff like that. And um, I was like, yeah, he tried his best and was trying his best to get me to meet up with him. 
and stuff. I said, um, you see how I was just leaving a little one one little word to him and stuff like that. I said, then he come asking me, well, why was I gonna come that way? And I told you know, I didn't say nothing. I just told him I'm glad he had a safe trip home, you know. And I told her, I said, I wasn't trying to uh meet up with him. I wasn't not trying to do that. I said, I told I I told her, I said, not one time I told him in any conversations that we had that I was going to meet up with him. Not one time I told him that. Mm -mm. She said, I know that because um, when I pulled up his page and everything went into his messages, I, you know, I was reading everything that him and you and all these other women was talking about and stuff like that. And, and you know, I told her, I'm so sorry, you know, how it happened. She said, well, he did that one time before. And she had put him out. And he begged to come back. And um, she brought him back. I was like, well, you know, once they're going to keep doing it, you know. Uh, but, y'all, I haven't, you know, heard anything after that. Actually, I think... Y'all, I'm contouring with the black opal stick and the shade black walnut. The black opal. But yeah, um, I haven't heard any more from him, thank God. And I kind of had a feeling that something was fishy about it because you know it just that's a man for you that's a man for you god not all men are like that but i mean come on now come on, come on. and I, I like i said i have to go back into this 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 website because i still go on it every now and then you know and still conversate with some of the guys and stuff like that yeah you know, just conversate with them and stuff like that i'm not trying to be them i got another one that's oh my god If this man won't leave me alone about coming to his house, and this one right here is actually 45 minutes from me. And it's like, oh my God. And he's a, a white man. I said, oh my God. This, this one here. Oh, and where he stays at is a nice neighborhood. How I know, because I done had a client over there, and it's a gated community, and it's basically mostly like surgeons, doctors, lawyers, and stuff like that, you know. But I'm not all for that, because I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not all for that, you know. But me and him conversate, he gets mad, and he be like, come, please come, let me, let me cook you some steak and lobster and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm not coming to your house. Not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Mm -mm. Won't get me hemmed up over there and try to kill me. That's not going to happen, Captain. Not going to do it. But y'all, y'all, please, if you own these dating websites, y'all be careful. Because I tell you, I tell you, to, I tell you, I had actually met up with a couple of them. Sure did. I ain't going to tell you no lie. Yeah, I met up with some. I met up with one, and he was just not like the profile, y'all. It was just like, really? Oh, God. He bought me drinks. He bought me dinner. Y'all, I, I was putting them. I My favorite drinks are, I drink Hennessy. But my favorite, favorite drink is a, um, a Blue Motorcycle. Blue Motorcycles are my favorite drinks. And a Blue Motorcycle is seven different liquors mixed in together. Yeah. So, uh, he was buying me drinks, buying me drinks, buying me drinks, buying me drinks. I was just taking him back, thinking of his his 
he would turn into the profile pic that he had up there, you know, because he would just, oh my God, and he never changed. He never changed. I don't care how many drinks I had that night. He never changed. Oh my God, y'all, when I got in the car, he walked me to my car. I told him, I said, thank you for the drinks and thank you for dinner. And uh, he went to his car. And before I left that damn restaurant, I deleted his ads. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Now, one, I met up with, oh, yeah, we had a good time. That, that one, I really, I really was was liking him. Me and him, we, oh, it's like we connected and stuff like that. Um, his problem was he had too much baby mama drama. Too much of it. Too much of it for me. I mean, he, he can handle his own, but it was just the kid's mother and it's like she wanted him to do more and more. And he was doing what he was supposed to be doing anyway. You know how they want you to do more and stuff like that. And then it's the girls. He loved his girls and stuff. Because he was everywhere he go, like vacation and stuff like that, he would take the girls with him and stuff like that. But it's like when their birthday came around, it was like he couldn't just buy one big ass cake for the both of them. He had to buy two cakes. Cause there were twins. The girls were twins. And when he got his house, he bought his house and stuff. I had went up there and me and him decorated the house because he called the girls and he asked them what was their favorite color and stuff. And they was telling him and we went and picked it out and you know, see, this guy right here, I, I really adored him. You know, we went and picked it out and we painted the girls' rooms and stuff like that. And see, I had made him off a dating website and stuff. So, you know, some you could get it's okay. And then there's some is just like, uh, you know, 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 uh uh. Mm -mm. But, um, Yeah, um, I told him he we still talk every now and then through Facebook. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, stranger? Hadn't heard from you in a while. Blah blah blah. You know stuff like that. How things going? How the girls? You know and stuff. Yeah, but um, yeah, I told him you know you. You know, just get your stuff together and we still can be friends and probably pick up from where we left off. We never know. You know. And um this other one that I met, um I should have used. Um I didn't meet him, but uh the way we act, you think we were met, we had met each other, yeah. You know? <laughs> we we never met, but the way we act and talk to each other on um Facebook, you know, the date website, you think we met? Cause uh, me and him, I don't think we we should meet because I think me and his attitude is the same. Cause it's just like, oh, bye, you know. <laughs> I ain't got time for it. You take that shit somewhere else, you know. Uh, -uh. then he'll tell me the same thing when I catch the attitude. Uh, bye. You know, I ain't got time for your boo. You know, <laughs> so that's how me and him. And that's why you, you would think me and him had met, and, and we never met each other. So, and he's a truck driver. And see, my thing is, I attract a lot of truck drivers. I don't know why. I don't know. Yes, I got like um three that I met on the website that's truck drivers and yeah. 
One of them, oh my God, he just, <laughs> oh God, y'all, he would just, oh. This man used to have me laughing all the time. All the time. Y'all, I'm not going to do nothing dramatic. I'll just do something simple. This was just a regular chit chat anyway, you know. I'm just doing this here, you know, because I'm off today, so I have nothing else to do. And um, I'm about to go on vacation, and um, I'm about to have me a little Christmas vacation. I'm going out of town Christmas. So I might vlog that. I don't know yet. I don't I don't know yet. But it's in mind. But um Yeah, it's gonna be a family thing though. It would have a lot of family in it because it'd be my family and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild Photo, Photo Focus Banana Loose Setting Powder. Can y'all see that? So, yeah, um, Y'all uh, leave down in my um, comment box, have you ever been on a dating website and have this ever happened to you and have you ever met up with anybody on this, on a dating website? Because I want to know. Um, me, I, I, like I said, I just play around with it. There's a lot of foods out there that you have to be careful and stuff. Um, it's a lot of them, a lot of them ask me for my, um, for my number and I don't give it to them. You're not calling me because I don't know you for one thing. I do not give my number out to people. I do not know. I tell them, I say, I feel like I have to know you. If I be on this dating website for a long time, me and you talk, be the main ones, be talking, talking, talking all this time. The whole entire time I'm on here, then I feel like I know you and I give you my number because we talk nonstop for like months or stuff like that. Yeah, I would give you my number, but just jump. Hey, pretty good lady. Hey, gorgeous. Um, can I get your number? We don't have to talk on here and stuff. No, we're going to talk on here first because you're not getting my number. If you don't want to talk on here, then okay, you know. The hell with it. I'll talk to you later. You know. <laughs> no, you're not getting my number. It's not going to happen. Mm -mm. Right. How's that looking, y'all? <laughs> and that was with the... I will put everything down in the description box. Um... I'm going to do another clothing haul. Um, I'm just gathering up all the new stuff that, I, that I'm get, that I getting and stuff like that. I already got a few pieces, but um, I want to get more. Um, yeah. All right, y'all. We're not going to do nothing traumatic. I said that. So we're going to go into the. Think of we're going to use any eyeshadow at all. Thinking about it. Because basically, I just, you know, just. We're going to go into this Wet n Wild palette. 
I'll probably just use the transition uh, shade, just put it all over my eyelids and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll just do that. Sometimes I'll be lazy like that. I'll be lazy like that. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I would recommend y'all to, you know, safely check out the, those dating websites if you, like, all into them and stuff like that. Because, like I said, you know, that people are crazy, people are crazy, people are crazy. And what gets me is when I tell them no about certain things then they want to cuss you out go ahead and cuss me out because I don't know you you know <laughs> you know you ain't hurting my feelings <laughs> not one bit mm-mm Not one bit. Y'all, how's the weather been with y'all at? Oh my God. Um, it's been cold here, but then it goes to the warm weather and then it's Oh, right. It's cold outside now. Um, actually, I got up early this morning and I went to Walmart because I had a day off. And um, I ran in there real quick before I got too crowded, cause you know it's the weekend and you know how people love Walmart and stuff. So. I went in there before they got too crowded. Which Walmart stay crowded anyway, so um uh, getting a couple of things, Christmas things and stuff like that, you know. I did put up a tree and a couple of decorations outside and stuff like that. And um and stuff. But I'm like a last minute person. Everything, every time I go somewhere, everything I do is last minute. I got to get out of that. I don't know why, but I have to get out of that. It's I, one because I think because I work all the time and I'll be trying to find somewhere in between time to go. I think that's why. And when I try that, it's like. Something always steps in the way, and then I can't, and I won't, you know, until whenever. See, like, the day I had the day off, so I went. Um, I'm working 12 hours tomorrow, so I can't go. Um, Monday, it's an early day because... Christmas is what Friday, so the week coming up is gonna be a early week for me. So I might try to get something done. I might try to get something done. <laughs> but anyway, I'm using the my NYX Epic Ink Liner for to line my eyes. Oh. And I'm going to use the Maybelline, the falsies from uh, mascara.
Yeah, I think I do a thin one. Which I think. My lighting in here is bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. Gonna pray for it not right now. It's getting hot in here. Uh anyway. Any discussion y'all want me to talk about? Um please put it down in the comment my comment box um and we'll talk about it i'm open to, i'm open-minded i'm open to anything anything y'all want to talk about i'm open to it anything Okay, y'all, I'll be right back. Let me pop my lashes on, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I got my lashes on. The lashes that I'm wearing are from... Um... Where are these... <laughs> where are these lashes are from? But they're the sixth... Um, 60, 60 mink lashes. And I will link it down in the description box where they're from. Um, yeah, I even got a pair of the, um, they're like blue. <laughs> yes. But uh, anyway, What I was saying was, yeah, y'all be careful if you're using those dating websites and stuff like that. Y'all be careful because, like I said, I my bio says no married men at all. But it looks like I got to go back in there and rechange it to make them understand that. Um, yeah, it looks like I got to go back in there and change it to make them understand that. Um, I don't talk to married men like that. I, I don't. Well, I don't talk to married men. Period. I do not do that. Uh, uh, that's disrespectful. That's that's very very disrespectful, and I I don't know how other feels. You might get mad with me about it, but I feel like when you do that, you you breaking up somebody's happy home. I mean, I know you don't know if this man married it or not. Y'all, I'm gonna use my um, L'Oreal Mineral Press Powder. I'm gonna put that all over my face, but um. But yeah, you know, 
these men are, oh, I mean, some of them want their cake and eat it too. Actually, this comes into another quick story. Um, my clients that I have was getting their house, old big ass house remodeled. And the guy that they hired, he runs his own construction. And um, he's, it's his own business and stuff like that. Okay. He look okay. You know. But the thing about it, though, he... um. was trying to talk to me every time I show up at work and my clients were like, Oh, you can't talk to her right now. She's on our time. And I'd be like laughing like, yeah, I'm on their time. What do you want? Leave me alone. You know, cause sometimes I do play hard to get, um, uh, people used to tell me, uh, why you give a man a hard time? Because see, I want to see where he's coming from. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I have some of them said that's what they like. I'm a woman with an attitude. So, uh yeah so um he was like let me take you out to lunch let me take you out to lunch and stuff like that then i'm thinking wait a minute your phone just rang and it was your girlfriend but you stand up in here trying to take me out what's going on with you like that so I took my client to the store and everything. Me and him goes to the store and stuff. I come back. His wife tell me, said, guess what? I just found out he got a wife too. I said, oh, he got a wife too? She was like, yeah, because the wife called like that. I'm like, what? So this man got a wife and a girlfriend on the side. And I didn't say it like that. I said, he got a wife and a sideline hoe. And then he want me at his thought. That's not going to happen. Mm -mm. It's not going to happen, Captain. Because, see, that's what I'm talking about. Me, oh, my God. It's just every day. It's like, oh, my God. When I get to my client house, when I see him, it's like, oh, my God. Because this man, and like, he don't know, understand the meaning of the word no. How many times I done told you no? I told you no too many times. And, and you can't get it. And you ain't got it yet. Something ain't right. Some may right. Y'all, I'm using this blush from Maybelline. It's called Classic Color. This is my favorite blush. It's my go-to blush. It's my favorite. It's my holy grail. But, um... Yeah, he was, um... All up in my Kool-Aid and stuff like that. You got a man. No, you uh, uh, do. You got a wife and a girlfriend. You asking me, do I have a man? I, I can take care of you. You see, this is my business and stuff like that. And if you don't get out of my face. <laughs> if you don't get out of my face. And then on top of that. Where I'm going to Christmas, where y'all believe he's going to the same place. I said, oh my God. I said, I can see it now. He, oh my God. I been not run into him. That's all I got to say. I, I been not run into him. I been not run into him. Yeah, I'm using this Wet n Wild Highlighter Pot though. And I love this, this Wet n Wild. I like, I love this here too, but, um, yes, honey, I found out that he is going and the, about the same dates that I'm going, but you know what? It's all good. As long as I don't run into you, cause I'm going to have my fun. <laughs> I had my fun. 
Y'all, I've been blabbing and blabbing and throw some of that up there. I probably missed a couple of steps, but this was just a chit chat, you know. I like chit chats. I love chit chats. So yeah, if um Yeah. If you um been on a date or met up with someone on one of those dating websites Please let me know how it went. And um, have you ran into any married ones? I think mine could have been some Jerry Springer shit. <laughs> Jerry Springer and Maury shit. <laughs> but the thing about it, though... Um, I didn't talk down on the woman. Um, actually, she was cool. Me and her had that little conversation and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, she was pretty cool. You know. But, and actually, this is the first time something like this happened to me. Because, you know, this is the first time something like this happened to me because, um, Like I said, I, um, uh -uh. no, but, um, yeah, y'all please be careful like that, out there like that. I feel like I'm forgetting something, and I probably am, but, that's okay. I just threw this together. I'm not going nowhere. Time for to take this off. Um, like I said, I got to work tomorrow 12 hours. And I just want to come on here and share this story with y'all about these dating websites and these men and, and stuff like that to, for y'all to be careful and, you know... Cause people crazy these days. You never you never know what's in people's minds, especially these men. You never know what's on their mind and stuff like that. You know. What about it end up dead somewhere? Yeah, I do watch the first forty eight. <laughs> I love the first forty eight. That's that's my that's my show. I be sitting up there helping them um solve the uh mystery. Hey, y'all got forty eight hours. <laughs> Let's do this, you know. <laughs> yes, I love the first 48. Now let's get to the lip. Um, I'm going to use the NYX Professional Makeup Lip Liner and the uh, color Cold Brew. Cold Brew. Brew, brew. Cold Brew. I don't know why I can't say that. Y'all see that? Getting tired, tired of up in here. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, yeah, uh, I'm 
lining my lips with this. Uh, I'm thinking about um, like my Christmas vacation. Um, I'm going out of town. And it's going to be, I'm going to a cabin in Tennessee. And uh, like I said, it's, it's going to be all, ooh, all our family. There we go. Fix that. I'm using uh, this liquid lipstick from Jaro. And it's in the color Barely Nude. And this is from... There we go, Jaro. And then I'm gonna just top it off with this um lip tint. But um yeah, um Here we go. I'm going out of town um, Christmas um, family uh, to Tennessee. Um, we heard so far it's supposed to be it's supposed to start snowing Christmas Eve. Um, I'm driving. I'm taking a friend. They know it's not a guy. That's going to be another story. But. Yeah. Yeah, I sprayed my face down with the, oh, Anna, is this Anastasia Dewey setting spray? Yep, and uh, this is the end of this makeup look. This is what I'm going to leave it at anyway. But anyway, if y'all have any questions for me, just hit me down there in uh, my comment box. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Let's get this. Come on, y'all. Let's get it up. Build it up. Build it up. If you're watching, please subscribe to it. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? Okay, I got juicy stories and everything. I would like to my channel to be like um, fun. I likes to talk, y'all. See, I love to talk. I love. I likes to talk and stuff like that. Anything you want to ask me, I'm open minded and stuff like that. Yes. Um. So, just leave down in my comment box what you want. What's the next topic you want me to talk about and stuff like that. And let's have a little fun and let's build my channel up. So again, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when your girl upload and get this video a thumbs up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What you waiting on? All right. And um, until then, y'all have a blessed day and a blessed Saturday. Stay warm. And um. Uh, do what you normally do. Nothing like I do, which I'm finna go eat, okay? All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank y'all for watching. And uh, those who are new here, thanks for watching. And those who are not new, thank you again for watching. All right, everybody, have a blessed day.